the thing that we do is deliver care to patients and having the equipment to do that makes all the difference in the world. Supply chain issues have been a problem for everyone lately, and it's something Scott Muthers Ball with Guilford County EMS says even emergency services has had to address. A lot of times it ran kind of uninterestingly where the price was consistent and the supply was there. And uh, now since COVID, we've had to adapt and adjust. But to understand the issues they've been having, it's important to know how ambulances are constructed. Ambulances kind of come in two pieces. So you've got the chassis, which is where the crew sits. It's the guts of the truck. And then you've got the box, which is where the patient care tends to happen. Last year, they were having issues getting new chassis. This year, the problem has switched over to the boxes. Ambulance manufacturers are sometimes two to three years behind in terms of securing and, and creating those boxes. Because of those changes in supply and demand, Muthers Boss says they are working with what they already have in order to make those much needed changes. So what we can kind of do is take what's still has some life in it, those patient care areas, the, the ambulance box, and put that on a new chassis and basically refresh it into what is essentially a, a new ambulance. And thanks to the additional funding from the Guilford County Board of Commissioners, he says they can make sure they always stay ahead. We try to keep an eye towards the future and, and have those things in the pipeline for when we do need them, not to try to play catch up if we need them right now. Guilford County approved funding of more than half a million dollars for this project.